All right, what is going on guys? It is Band here. Video disclaimer, I am not a professional. I might not know what I'm talking about, but B, it, it works. It And just ignore my fan. I know it's loud, but if not, it's, it's really hot in this room. I have a lot of stuff running 24 seven, so. Okay, in this video, I will be showing you how to record your PC with the Elgato using one monitor, not two, one. And the only reason I'm making this video is because I cannot find anything on the internet, YouTube, etc. that covers this. And I got really aggravated, so I just dug deep and I figured out how to do it. So the things you're going to need. A PC, computer, MacBook, laptop, that doesn't matter. Anything with an HDMI port, you're good. Two HDMI cables, two, not one, not three, two. And you're also going to need an Elgato. Come on now, you knew that. And you're also going to need to download Game Capture HD and Sound Capture. These are free to download, at least to most of my knowledge, it, I'm pretty sure it's free. And okay, let's get right into this. It sounded really weird, but just, just bear All with right, me. Anyways, you get one HDMI cable, story of my life. One HDMI cable, you can plug it into your PC. Mine's the Asus uh, Rogue G20, so I plug it into the back. And then you're gonna plug that going into the input on your Elgato, which is right next to your power cord. Don't be like me, I actually unplugged that earlier and did not know. And then you're gonna plug your other HDMI cord into the other side, and that's gonna connect to your monitor. Helpful this is gonna be now, I had to go back and re-record this. Um, my Xbox is already set up and all, but we're gonna go into game capture, gonna go to capture, and it's gonna say Xbox disconnected, PS4 disconnected, whatever you're doing, and you're gonna hit options or settings, it's right below that. Anyways, you're gonna select, you're gonna hit the a thing, it's like input device or something like that. You hit the drop down and you're gonna go down to other. And then from there, it just makes, it pretty much just duplicates your uh, computer screen. And then you're gonna open up sound capture. And from here, you're just gonna go to PC gaming and you're gonna set this stuff up to where it makes sense. So you open sound capture, you're gonna go to PC gaming and then you're gonna go down here and you're gonna mess around with those. It can be different depending on where you wanna hear your sound from, where you want it recorded to and all that stuff. And then you can test it by playing a song or whatever. And once these bars start actually moving, you can go back, I'm gonna go back here, and then it's gonna say sound capture, mine does it right now because I hooked up my Xbox again, then it pops up, and once you have it to where you want it to be, it's gonna work, all it does is pretty much just capture your desktop audio in comparison to everything else, and really fast, just make sure your levels are okay, turn down the game audio just a little bit because it might overpower your microphone, and make sure your microphone is at a reasonable level. Because if not, it will drown everything out and you will be very disappointed. Yeah, and that pretty much is how you can set your PC up to record with an Elgato recording your PC. Or recording your PC with an Elgato, that makes more sense. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything I can try to help out with, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. That, that sums it up. That's pretty much all I want to talk about. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed or you want to help me out, just drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. It's time to say comment, and yep, it's been banned. Go see.